So what I'm going to show you today is how to use an app to scan documents like paper documents, pictures, things that you've handwritten, to use your iPad to scan those things into a PDF file that can be submitted to Canvas or emailed to your teacher or uh, saved to Google Drive, whatever you want to do with it. So the app that I'm going to recommend using um, is an app called ScanBot. So we go to the App Store and we search for ScanBot. ScanBot. So there we go, ScanBot. And when it opens up, you're going to notice that in the Apple App Store, there is no app called ScanBot. If you do this in uh, on an Android phone or something like that, if you do it in the Google Play Store, if you want to put it on your phone as well, it says ScanBot. It just says, like, it has the actual name. And this one, for whatever reason, doesn't. But it's the first thing that comes up, this little smiley face thing. So we click on that. Scanner and QR code reader app, that's what we want. Uh, so we just click on download. To download, it's a free app. So this is going to take a little bit to download. So I'll just uh, skillfully edit this out. So I just want to swing over. So there's the ScanBot app. You can see it installed right there. Um, so I just click on that. And that'll bring up the app. Um, it's going to present some the sort of anything, scan anything, high quality, that sort of yada, yada, yada. Um, so you can buy extra features for five bucks, but we don't need to do that. We can just say maybe later, but we're really not going to buy it. We're just lying about the maybe. Okay, so now I want to scan a document. So you can use this for text. You can see it automatically starting to pick up uh, where the shape is that's just not plain white paper. So I want to take this awesome hand-drawn picture of Duffy playing basketball. So I just snap a picture of that. And so now I got it in a page. And I can mess with it. I can use the crop feature down here to kind of adjust where I want it. I don't want this white paper in there. So I just want to sort of mess around with this and just draw this down there. So I can just choose the shape of what I want, just to what I want to get. Okay, so done. Um, you can mess around with the color stuff. You can make it black and white, which will look terrible because it's not a black and white photo. I just want no filter. No big, it's just because I want it in full color because it's an amazing drawing that I made myself by hand. And so I just click on save. So now it's created a document. Now it's got as a PDF file. We don't want to do this auto upload. Um, so now it's got a PDF file. It's already there. You can see it's right over here. If I, uh, you can't see it because you, you can't see my finger, but it's on the right of the screen or the left of the screen. Um, so you just you can click on that, and you can see other things down. Again, you can't see my fingers. So I don't know why I'm saying this at all, um, but you can click on the share button, and through the share button, you can uh, send it to other apps. And so like the copy to Canvas app would be one. If you wanted to submit this as an assignment to Canvas, if you wanted to sit, put it on your Dropbox, you can access it anywhere. Google Drives, you can access it anywhere. Whatever you want to do it, if you want a notability to write all over it or whatever, email it to somebody, iMessage it to somebody. Whatever you want to do with it, you can do through this app. And it can apparently also do QR codes, which is kind of cool as well. And so this is ScanBot. Uh, 